Oh, we started? We are rolling. Shh. Oh my god. Uh, let's go. Jeopardy trap music is playing right now. We got tired of the old Jeopardy music. We should play symphonic music during fourth period. Oh no. To help calm him down. like a chubby bunny. I know. He was chubbier. He changed his body. He did. <laughs> Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Jonah. And I'm Jay Will. Today is Wednesday, January 10th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Oh my god. Oh no, this is People are going to know why I'm doing both parts because people aren't showing up. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest effort I am show the world will never see. True, though. Hey, it'll be, it'll be on YouTube in three six. Have you signed up for CodeCon yet? Registration forms for the 2018 EASD coding contest are available now in the high school main office. You only need one registration form per team of two or three. The deadline to register for the EASD coding contest is Friday, January 26th. The third annual EASD coding contest will be held in the high school cafeteria in March. See your math teacher, contact Mrs. Hooper for additional details. Now over to, to uh, Seth with the news. <laughs> Why did I forget your name? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I'm here with the news. Iran's Supreme Theocratic Leader, the Ayatollah Ali Kham Khamenei, thanks Edwin for the hard names, has made several statements regarding foreign intervention into his country this week. He has stated that Western nations and their Middle Eastern allies, including the United States, the United Kingdom, Saudi Arabia, and Israel, were responsible for initiating and perpetuating the protest over economic conditions that have been ongoing for several days. <gasps> All told, the protests were responsible for the deaths of 22 people and their imprisonment of 3,700 people. After a majority of the unrest was quelled, the Ayatollah stated, U.S. officials should know that firstly, they have missed their target, and secondly, they have inflicted damage upon Iran in recent days, and they should know that this won't be left without a response. It is unknown if Iran is going to launch a self-ordained counterattack on the U.S. or its allies, but all relevant parties are on high alert. On this day, 1901, a huge gusher of crude oil was discovered near Beaumont, Texas. It produced 100,000 barrels of oil a day and took nine days to cap. This discovery helped lead to the use of petroleum as a fuel for the new transportation methods such as cars and airplanes. As another result, Beaumont became a boom town and its population tripled within the next few months with oil workers and their families. Today, a few oil wells still operate in the area. Now over to Jay Will and Jonah at the main desk once again with lunch. Now for that delicious lunch. Mountaineer popcorn chicken bowl with a whole grain wool and margarine. Three cheese or ham and cheese croissant or broccoli cheese croissant. Turkey BLT flatbread. PB and J uncrustable. Taco salad. <laughs> Whipped potatoes. Steamed corn. Broccoli cauliflower salad. Grilled peaches, fresh fruit, or the slushy. Now over to Clay, I mean Seth, with the sports resorts. <laughs> I should have changed that thing. <laughs> I 
That was unintentional, actually. <laughs> In sports results, notice I didn't say resorts, after they defeated Garden Spot in Rifle with 497 to 487. The top five shooters were Kyle Good with 100 and 1 center, Samantha Hurst with 100, Joshua Potts with 99, Colleen Hurst with 99, and Brianna Bowers with 99. Attention all girls interested in playing softball. We will have open gyms on Tuesday and Thursday morning from 6.30 to 7.10 in the morning. Pitchers and catchers will also have open gym time on Tuesdays and Thursdays right after school in the gym. Please see Coach Dumbach if you have questions. Attention all students interested in being a part of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, called FCA for short. FCA will start having huddles, or Bible studies, on Wednesday mornings at 7 o'clock in room 227. Please see Ms. Dumbach if you have questions. We hope to see you there. Today, bowling is away against Conestoga Valley. Swimming is away at Lancaster Catholic and wrestling <coughs> host garden spot. Now back to the main desk. Attention Mountaineer staff, we will have a meeting today in room 318 immediately following dismissal. Everyone is urged to attend since this is our only meeting prior to setup. Boys, watch your backs. The Saints dance is taking place on February 10th from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the high school gym. Pre-order tickets are $7 and tickets at the door are $10. An ID will be required at purchase. Girls, better start scoping out who you want. Ask men. They're high in demand right now, which means prices will increase, as well as quantity, according to economics. Uh, look, Jay Will, um, I was wondering, would you want to go to the dance with me? I thought you'd never ask. Have a good day, Efrida. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't keep, like, why did they go to the wide shot? I should have stayed on this small shot. Oh, boy, another day, another dollar. <laughs> Alright, well, bye 360. It's been nice knowing.